questions I would do that at the beginning of the call. And we have two questions that sort of go towards turning down business when clients come to you that don't fit what you do. Um, so do you have any advice for that? I mean, Nancy in the chat specifically says, so what do you say to a client who doesn't fit your niche? She says she hates turning down business. And do you have any advice for, for that situation? Yeah, it's a real struggle. I have to say, I 100% agree with her. It is very difficult for me to turn down the opportunity to, you know, sell a client an experience. But the, the truth is, is that it has to be the right fit for me and for them. If it's something that I can't bring value to, to them, I'm going to share that with them and explain to them why, you know, it may not be something that I can bring um, value to that experience. But I oftentimes will say, if I turn down something, which is rare, I might say, but for the times that I do turn something down, I, I often tell them I'm happy to provide them with advice on how, you know, you know, how to proceed with booking that or booking it on their own or something like that, simply because, again, it goes back to building the relationship and having the opportunity to build trust with that guest, even though we're not selling something to them. And then we just have a follow up from from Nancy as well. She just wants to know if you if you ever would you ever refer those clients to another advisor? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a great question, Nancy. Um, I am uh, pretty lucky. Well, I um, well we have such a great network of cruise punter agents and friends that if there is something that I know is somebody else's specialty, I will oftentimes refer it to them. So yes. Yeah.